Hey everyone, how are you doing? Mark here, AK the 13th. So I've finally done it, people keep asking me to um, to post a search and destroy video and that's exactly what I've done. This is probably going to be a little bit controversial because of my views on search and destroy but hey, such is life, that's the way it is, this is just what I think of search and destroy. I'm going to try and prove it to you in this in this video for a little bit. Um, in my opinion, search and destroy, although it's a good game mode and loads, thousands and thousands of people play it. Look at my minimap now. I've got two green guys. I don't know why them two guys are blue because they're definitely not in my party. But two green guys. One of them dies. The other one is doing nothing. So, you know, I'm the bomb carrier. The, if they're going to protect me, then I understand, you know, some people are new to the game or not not too good with the game. But, you know, at least give it a shot. And then you go back to these two guys. These are on my team. They're still in the, sat in their own spawn together and just watch the... That's what Search and Destroy turns into too many times. Douchebags like those two um, get killed because <clears throat> sat in their own spawn as well, so it just annoys me. And again, if you look now, I'm the bomb carrier and two people have followed me, sort of, but you know, no one's um, really come to help me. No one's. Okay, I suppose you could say then don't grab the bomb and don't run off, but. I changed tack here, so the guy on my right has got the bomb, and that's exactly where I'm going to go. I'm going to try and cover him, and, and I see there he's going to be. And the bomb carrier sort of dictates the game in, in many cases. They either sits back and lets an area get cleared, or goes forward and, and everybody clears the area. And that's what I'm trying to do here, in and around the area of B. So I see these two guys off, <clears throat> and then I'm sort of sat there, and where's he going? I don't know. I've cleared B for him, so... Plant the bomb. And that's my issue with search and destroy. You know, I'm sat there waiting for him to plant the bomb, cleared the area for him, and he's, what's he doing? Doing absolutely nothing. He's gone running off. So now I'm going to have to go and help him out some more. Okay, we win the game, and, and I'll get a good um, KD out of the game. And so it's quite a good gameplay for me. But that's not the point, you know. Let's If you're going to play team games, play the games to win them. Um, and that's my issue with search and destroy. Too many times... It's not search and destroy. We all know that search and destroy is a game where one team attempts to plant a bomb and the other team attempts to prevent them from planting the bomb or defusing the bomb once they have planted it. But it, it's too many times. It's not that game. It's 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 a a, a no spawn team deathmatch, and I really don't think that's what search and destroy was was meant for. Um, when it was created. <clears throat> I'm sure you've all got different opinions anyway, you know, because, like I said, a little bit controversial because thousands of people play Search and Destroy. You know, you look at the playlists and there's thousands and thousands of people in it. And I'm... I really do try hard not to knock the game mode because sometimes when we're playing as a complete clan as U4S, then we have a good laugh playing Search and Destroy. You know, sometimes the stupid things like... Um, well, I'll sit in the spawn and, and wait for the... You know, when you're having a good laugh lab, but when, when you're playing sort of in a mercenary role, i.e. you've got no teammates with you, people want to play, people play team games because they want to win the games. Um, so, help them win. Don't just do your own thing. At least be a team player and, you know, help them win. But anyway, I get a nice... Um, I'm not going to talk too much more about Search and Destroy because... Um, like I said, it's controversial. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an okay game mode. It just, it's not the game mode that annoys me. It's the people that play it. This guy's doing nothing wrong here. You know, he's sort of, um, but what's he defending, really? The bombs are on the left and the right of the map, and he's not really defending anything. Um, I think <clears throat> the perks that I'm, I douched it out a little bit because I, the game before was playing headquarters and I stuck some high kill streaks on and I didn't change my kill streak, so I'd have got quite an, a, a few more high kill streaks out of this. Actually, if I'd if I'd have lowered them a little bit, but I didn't. But the perks that I'm using, um, with the the commando I'm using Ghost Pro, and I think that's um, needed in search and destroy. You never know when the what perks the enemy have got on when they're going to throw up a UAV. Um, they can do it mid game, which you know always helps if you've got Ghost Pro. Um, I've also got Slight of Hand Pro, and on this Commando, I've got um, Hacker Pro, which again, I think, helps with Search and Destroy. Got a nice double kill here, though, for the uh, 
And you, you watch the guy just rage quit. Rage quit! Who is that? Zenoko left the game. Rage quit! Douchebag! Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what happens a lot in Search and Destroy. This guy proper sees me off here. I don't know whether there's two of them in there or he just turns me over. Wow, good shot. Well done, you. Yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you can check us out at www.doofiz.com. Speak soon.